So Murloc Shaman got two new cards, the first of which is Clownfish. 3 mana 3-2 three, Murloc that says Battlecry, your next two Murlocs cost two less. And my first impression of this card is that it's absolutely broken. It's a 3 mana 3-2 three, that lets you cheat four mana. This card is insane. Next up they got Tide Lost Burrower, which is pretty decent. 4 mana 4-4 four, four, Murloc that says Battlecry Dredge, and if it's a Murloc, summon a 2-2 two, two copy of it. So it's kind of like a 4 mana 6-6 six, six that lets you dredge. Pretty good. And of course, before this, Murloc Shaman had some pretty good support cards. Nothing Can Stop Us, Cookie the Cook, South Coast Chieftain, and Firemancer Flurgle. We can also do some extremely nasty things with Clownfish when it's combined with Bran Bronzebeard or Bulner Hammerbeak. I've played 10 games with this game so far and have an 80% win rate, so the Murlocs are looking pretty good. Wow, insane hand. I think I toss the Tide Lost Burrower. Try to find something good for Clownfish. Clown into Clown. Lurgle. I think I do just play Spawn Pool Forager here. I think it's better to just do tempo things than try to like set up for a sick Flurgle turn. I just don't need it against Warlock. Might need it against Rogue, but uh, I think just going all in is also pretty good against Rogue. Gorlock Ravager is pretty appealing. Alright, good tempo, good tempo. Nice turn too. Alright, definitely not rogue if they're still hero powering. Let's see if Bran sticks. If Bran sticks, Clownfish is insane. I get to play it with Gorlock Ravager and draw a million cards. Five, six, seven, eleven. This is another eight, so nineteen. Don't think I quite have lethal here. Let's see what six cards I can draw. Maybe I want to play a lush water mercenary here. It's going to be a five four. Pretty good, pretty good. I could also have saved the discount, but I think playing a 5-4 here was quite good. They had to have a uh, soul rend, 4 mana deal 5 to everything. They got clowned. Love Forager, love Clownfish. I can't imagine Flurgle survives on turn two against Demon Hunter. Flame Tongue Totem, huh? Could be good next turn. It's really hard for them to clear this board. Even to kill just one of them is pretty hard. Is this like big demon hunter maybe? It was simply rogue.
Wow, somehow I have such a bad hand. I don't know if that trade actually made that much sense. Tooth is strong. How is my clownfish so bad? I mean, I don't actually have to use the clownfish's effect this turn, I guess. Kind of weird. But maybe next turn I can play two Murlocs and then nothing can stop us. Maybe a totem as well. So I can deal one with this or I can give this plus one attack. Let's make this attack first. Oh wait, I was supposed to play Tide Collar before doing that. Well, awkward. Alright, made a pretty good board. Also positioned terribly for Flame Tongue Totem, but that's okay. Two very minor but very avoidable mistakes this turn. I do think the rogue is probably going to have to burgle their way out of this one, though. It's a good place to start. Still showing just straight up lethal. Nice. Not sure what hunter is going to be. Nothing can stop us as good, but I don't know if it's really good, like, on turn three. I'm not sure if I keep Lushwater Mercenary either, but it's a pretty good follow-up to the Tide Caller. I almost feel like I want a hard mulligan for Clownfish on this deck. That card is busted. So, turn one, Hunter could have, like, Barbed Nets that would kill this and not kill this. But I think I still like Tide Caller. Although, if they have, like, Slither Spear, then maybe Finley was also better, because I can clean up with Chieftain. But this is good if they do nothing, which is exactly what they ended up doing. And, uh, keep in mind, could still be Rogue. Been playing against a lot of Rogues at this point. And there's the Barbed Nuts. I guess I would probably rather play a Spawn Pool Forager than a Finley here, so we'll start with Amalgam. Another Chieftain is kind of hype. Chieftain. I was kind of hoping to match the opponent's hero power here. Dagger Mastery is okay, I guess. We we're really looking for Steady Shot or Life Tap there. Alright, just the stack. They don't have their weapon, though, so... I think I'm in an okay spot here. So if I take Clownfish, next turn I can Clownfish Triple Chieftain. That's hype. Bolner is kind of sick on its own, but I don't get the 2-2 this turn. And it doesn't... It's not really that sick with these. It's got to just be Clownfish, right? It's either Clownfish or you're just a clown. I'm just going, right? What could they possibly do to stop me?
All right. I've still got 5, 14, 15 showing. This is not good enough. I'm afraid you've been chieftained. We love Clownfish. Warrior could be Pirate or Control. I think I want to find my one drops. I want to find Bulner. All right, this is fine. Sucks not hitting a one drop when I do play five of them. And it's Rogue. Well, if they have Wild Paw Null, everything I do is bad. I guess if they want to play their 2-2 weapon, this is kind of bad, but I don't know. Just playing an Amalgam into nothing seems kind of terrible. Okay, sure. Love having to deal with a 4-5 rush on turn 2. Wow, some good ones here. Seems like Florgal will probably clean this up pretty nicely. But War Leader's decent. I think I like Florgal. Cookie's kind of nice. We'll go Cookie. Alright, pretty strong turn three from me. Shatter Shambler. Your next Death Rattle minion. So, not this turn necessarily. Well, I can take some okay trades. What if I go like Bulner? Lushwater Mercenary. Gives me a 2-5 Bulner, right? That's kind of sick. I don't think playing Firemancer Flurgle here really does much. Two five Bulner is kind of sick. And given that this deck is probably playing Naval Mine, uh, I think this cookie might come in pretty handy. This is starting to look kind of bad. Taking 16 here. But they're kind of out of stuff. Cookie's going to be healing for three. I haven't played this new fancy naval mine deck. But I played one a while ago, and it kind of struggled to deal every point of damage. So, Cookie might be sick. Okay, Cookie dies. Well, I have Brand Clownfish, but I don't have the hand for it. So that's kind of unfortunate. Probably should have traded the Rush Clownfish and gone face with the 3-1. It was worse on board, but it set up a two-turn lethal. I think this game's over, though. There's nothing they can do to deal 12, 11 damage next turn. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. There we go. 